Today I found out my vote don't count I got thrown in the garbage with yours The DNC, the FBI The lady who looked in my eye and she lied to me Three years later Three years she later lied to me. Ah, uh, Marcus Conti reporting on this uh, on this third looks like the third anniversary. The third anniversary, yes, the on July tenth of two thousand sixteen, a person named Seth Rich, the noble Seth Rich, was murdered in the street in Washington D.C. We all know who Seth Rich is. If you don't know who he is, you're going to know by the end of this video. So, Seth Rich, we're now approaching three years later, and still no 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 suspect. No suspect. Right? Gets two bullets in the back. No ballistic report. No autopsy. No no statements from the police. Nothing. Right. Two years, three years later now, and there's no suspect. How? how I I know I know in in New York City, if someone gets shot in the street, there's a broad investigation, and within hours they have they have a suspect. In this case, no suspect. Nothing. Right? D.C. police. Nothing. Right. In a, in an affluent neighborhood. And and two guys just swing swing and swinging guns and kill somebody in the street. Unbelievable, not believable. I'm not buying it. Right? So 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 we're at this we're at this uh, junction. Let's just let's start with uh, who is Seth Rich? Seth Rich is a guy who was allegedly believed. High, uh, most of the evidence points to Seth Rich being the leak when the DNC uh, was cheating Bernie Sanders. Seth Rich was a Bernie Sanders supporter. Seth Rich was not a right-wing conspiracy theorist, had no ties with, with fat Jerome Corsi and the fucking other guy, Oliver Stone or Roger Stone, right? That's bullshit. Right? Those, that whole connection that somehow that Seth Rich was, was working with the, with the Fox News jerk-offs and Trump is, is not the story. That's not what happened. Seth Rich was a Bernie Sanders supporter who worked for the DNC, and he was responsible for increasing voter uh, voter turnout. He was a coordinator for voter turnout. Right? He worked inside the DNC, and he was a Bernie Sanders supporter. And what he did was he discovered the cheating, like everybody else inside. Tulsi Gabbard saw the cheating, and she hit the door. Tulsi Gabbard should come out and say, you know what, this fucking overt cheating, and they probably killed Seth Rich. Right? But she's not going to say that because that's politically incorrect. But I'll say it because whatever. So, so Seth Rich saw the corruption, and and not he didn't just quit like Tulsi Gabbard or 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 Donna Brazil and go sell her ass to CNN. Instead, t- what Seth Rich did was took the took the took the, the dumb drive and stuck it in the fucking computer, and he took out all the emails, he took out all the evidence, and dumped it on WikiLeaks. Right? That's the true story. Right, and that happened between March, April, and May of 2016. It was no GRU agents, no Russia bullshit. No, that was all fabricated through CrowdStrike. Oh, 12 GRU Russian agents that Guccifer 2.0 and DC leaks came in and and blah, 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 and pow, it was the Russians that did it. Right? No, the the story of Russia and the red baiting, and and you know the Russia scare is uh, Hillary Clinton. Robbie Mook and John Podesta and Bob Bill Clinton and and James Comey and Peter Stroke and and fucking McC- McCabe, uh, that's a figment of their imagination. John Brennan, uh, uh, this is just a fake story, right? It's a fake story. And then they when they doubled down, tried to stick it on Trump, the whole story fell apart. But the story of twelve GRU agents is still ironclad, right? According to the, the, the infamous Mueller report, right? Again, I told you a long time ago that the big move covers the little move. The little move is to ensure the American people that Russians hack the election. Do most Americans believe that or at least go along with it? Yes. Does, does 100% of the mainstream media echo that? Yes. Even Fox admits it, says it at this point. The, the country has been vastly gaslighted to believe that the Russians hacked the election, which they did not. Right? The evidence did so in, in Mueller's report. So we got to get to Seth Rich. We'll get to him in a second. 
but we have to always look at we have to always look at the good Julian Assange, right? This is the publisher of the of the emails of the evidence of cheating published the publisher of the evidence of the cheating in his own words right? that that Mueller you think that Mueller or Robert Mueller the the lead uh, the the FBI the former FBI director doing a, an investigation into Russia would have at least talked to the guy who published the, the material never did why because it 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 it's in contradiction to the to the Russian narrative that Mueller is is uh, complicit in promoting so here's Julian Assange. Let's listen to it. Donald Trump has had a disastrous few weeks. If you look at the polls, he needs a miracle. Um, in the American political lexicon, there's such a thing as the October surprise. The stuff that this is the best interview with Assange that Mueller never looked at. He never considered it. He never mentioned it in the in his uh, in his uh, uh, Mueller report, the infamous Mueller report. Uh, and here he is. He says it is pretty much in his own words. He alludes to the fact that you're sitting on uh, is is an October surprise in there? We Do you even know what you're sitting on? WikiLeaks never sits on material. Uh, our whistleblowers go to significant efforts to get us material, and often very significant risks. As a 27 year old who uh, works for the DNC, who was shot in the back, murdered uh, just two weeks ago. Uh, for un unknown reasons, as he was walking down the street in Washington, so that was that was just a robbery, I believe, wasn't it? No, it's, there's no finding. So no. Uh, what that's are you the suggesting? Sort of, what are you suggesting? Well, I'm suggesting that our sources uh, take risks, and they are they become concerned uh, to see things occurring uh, like that. But was he one uh, of your sources then? I mean. We don't comment on who our sources but are. But why make the suggestion about a young guy being shot in the streets of Washington? Because uh, we have to understand uh, how high the stakes are uh, in the United States and that our sources are, you know, our sources face serious risks. Uh, that's why they come to us, so we can protect uh, their anonymity. Uh, but it's quite something and, to suggest a murder. Like, that's basically what you're doing. Well, that others have have suggested that uh, we are investigating to understand uh, what happened uh, in that situation with Seth Rich. I think it is uh, a concerning situation. I, there's not a conclusion yet. We wouldn't be willing to um, state a conclusion, but we are concerned about it. And more importantly, um, a variety of WikiLeaks sources are concerned when that kind of thing happens. Donald Trump has had a disaster. Well, how does it, does it become, a, is it any more clear than that? Is it any, I mean, he's basically telling you that our sources go to great lengths, right? So that's the, that's the evidence. Now, if you're Robert Mueller, don't you want to talk to this guy? You're the, you're leading the, the charge on, on, on trying to figure out what happened to Russiagate, right? And here's the guy telling you, the publisher of the material is telling you that a 27 year old got shot in Washington, D.C., and and our our sources go through great lengths, you know, great take great risks, right? And you don't want to talk to the guy, you you don't want to talk to him. The fat guy in 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 Australia, Kim dot com, I'm not buying it, right? I still don't I don't believe he has anything whatsoever to do with it. He may have some some nonsense, but 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 Julian Assange was in direct contact with Seth Rich, right? Evidence was on the computer that we never saw, of course. Seth Rich's where's Seth Rich's computer? So here's the other report. Just this is kind of interesting too, and then we'll talk more about the the Seth Rich case itself. But here's Fox reporting at the time. This alert: a brand new bombshell in the murder of that guy right there, a DNC staffer. An investigator now says Seth Rich was in contact with WikiLeaks. Not only that, he claims there's been a law enforcement cover up. Well, Griff Jenkins live in Washington with these uh, breathtaking, breaking developments. Griff. Brian Ainsley and Steve, good morning. Breaking indeed and developing at a rapid pace. Bombshell new evidence of a former DNC staffer you just showed there, Seth Rich, suggests he was in communications with WikiLeaks prior to his murder last summer. Let me take you back.
Here in the nation's capital, it was last July. DNC staffer Seth Rich was shot and killed on the way home from a bar in a trendy northwest neighborhood. Here, police initially saying that they believed it was a botched robbery, but questions remain with the investigation still open. Now, a year later, according to a parallel investigation by former D.C. police homicide detective and Fox News contributor Rod Wheeler, there's evidence that Rich had contact with WikiLeaks. That evidence on a laptop belonging to Seth Rich. Red showing he was talking with WikiLeaks. Wheeler says this smells like a cover up. I want to find out who caused that man's death so we can put them behind bars. But if there's somebody in politics, if there's somebody in government, whether it's in the mayor's office or anywhere else in the city that's involved, you better believe they're going to be dragged in and questioned. Wheeler sources inside the police department also saying that they were told to stand down on the case. Police not confirming any of this uh, with us. I've been calling the PIO number here at the D.C. Police Department. I was at 6 a.m. and I have contacts from private crime stories. Nobody telling me anything. We are going to keep hunting this. It's worth noting, guys, at the time of Rich's death, his wallet was not taken and he actually went to the hospital. He was still alive at the hospital where he died. We know nothing about what may have transpired between police investigators and Rich, but obviously Rod Wheeler looking into it. I've known Rod for a long time, and I know he's been looking into this case for a long time in a parallel investigation. This is simply developing, guys, and we will have more on it later. So, not, so that's, that's if you remember that, you know, if you remember that story, right, that's Fox News reporting it. You know, that's a year later. I'm sorry about that. But uh, but nonetheless, it's it's good to get some perspective as to how the media was reporting it. Fox was reporting it. I think Kennedy had reported it too, and then was told to stand down. It, enormous pressure. No, there's no evidence, no no ballistic evidence, no autopsy evidence, no testimony from the from the from the uh, the people that spoke to Seth Rich from the time he allegedly died. He was found at 4 a.m. So July 10, 2016, he was found at 4 4:19 a.m. in the in a, a Bloomingdale neighborhood with apparent gunshot wounds to the back. Right, consensus and still breathing, conscious and still breathing. Uh, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead an hour an hour and a half later at 5:57. And so an hour and 40 minutes, an hour and 40 minutes later. He was he was pronounced dead. Do we ever see a, a death certificate? No. Do we see the autopsy? No. Do we didn't see anything? Right. We see a ballistic, so we know what kind of gun shot him. Right in the back, no 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 video surveillance, nothing, nothing. Still three years later, nothing. D.C. police stepped down, no evidence. Crazy. Right? So. So we know also that that the family was very sketchy. I, I don't want to get into that, but the, the family was kind of their their testimony was was that of a uh, very schooled, very rigid, very uh, you know almost like rehearsed kind of statements to the police. Why are they giving statements three days after that kid is is killed? Police have added to the confusion by releasing information only in the tiniest dribs and drabs. Rich's mother told police, right. She said his, his hands were bruised, his knees are bruised, his face is bruised, and yet he had two shots in the back, and yet they, they took nothing, right? They took his life for literally no reason. They didn't finish robbing him. They, they just took his life. That's what the mother believes. Right? Well, cops said shortly after the killing that they had no immediate indication the robbery was a motive. It's just... It's just so bizarre. What, I mean, what else do we know about this? We, there's so many. There's so many details of, of, of this. There's, but this is the statement. As I said in page 38 of the Mueller report, which I said when it first. I'm sorry, 48, uh, is is when it came out. Remember when it came out? I said, oh, page 48. It has the Seth Rich part of it, right? So beginning in summer of 2016, Assange and WikiLeaks made a number of statements about Seth Rich. A former DNC staff, this is Mueller in his own words, former DNC staff member who was killed in July 20, uh, 2016. The statement about Rich implies falsely that he had been sor the source of the stolen DNC emails. Uh, how do you know, Mueller? You never investigated. There's no, there's no evidence anywhere to, to make a, 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 an accusation like that. 
No, because we got the we we already we already made up twelve Russian agents hacked the thing, right? Twelve agents, twelve Russians came in and hacked it, and and used you know what we all already know about Vault Seven, the CIA's ability to to create footprints that could make anybody look like they did anything really. Uh, essentially, that's what CrowdStrike was probably using. Right? It also talks about WikiLeaks putting out a twenty thousand dollar reward. Um, uh, so likewise on March 25th, Assange was asked in an interview, why are you so interested in Seth Rich's killer? And responded, we're very interested in anything that might be a threat to, to alleged WikiLeaks sources, right? So that, that interview you just watched with, with Seth Rich, uh, with uh, Assange is a full, um, uh, 10 days before this interview that they're referencing, right? He ne Mueller never references that, that interview right there with Assange, right? I know you don't want to um, reveal your source, but it, it certainly sounds like you're suggesting a man who leaked information to WikiLeaks was murdered, right? Assange replied, so, so, so basically what Mueller is saying, the key word in the Mueller report is that Assange implied falsely that had that that uh, he had been the source of the stolen emails. M uh, Assange has never been interviewed, has never been questioned. Right? We have no evidence of the actual killing of Seth Rich. We've never seen the forensic in information about about the the DNC servers. Were they actually hacked by by Russians or? Is it more of what Bill Benny has told us, the NSA expert, that it was a download, that the information was downloaded to some sort of hard device and then passed off, that the download speed that the government is suggesting happened is impossible, that information can't travel over a wire at that speed in that, that quick. It's just, it's virtually impossible. All, all arrows point to a... A, a mechanical device, a, a hard drive. So, so, and Mueller, Mueller's the, you know, the big cover up man. So again, two years later, he got a bike rack. Remember the bike rack? That's this bike rack is dedicated to Seth Rich. Got a bike rack, lost his life. Is he, I mean, you know, you could speculate. I'm not going to say if he's still alive. Is he in, is he in Israel and on a, on a Shabab, a Shabib, a Bababu, a Baheba, a I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there is speculation. That's just speculation. Right? But, um, so anyway, but, but it is, it is scary that, uh, that, there's a whole article over here. I'm not going to read all this. <laughs> so it's fucking, it's in zero hedge. But it, it is it is very interesting that two and a half, three, it's now three years later. It's one month. I'm just getting ahead of it, right? So three years ago, Seth Rich, the 27-year-old uh, the, the Bernie Sanders supporter inside of the DNC, was murdered on the streets of D.C. for, for no, for, has never, there's never been a suspect. No suspects. Nobody. There's no fucking suspect. It's crazy, man. It's just the Democrats are buck wild, man. They killed. They somebody killed this guy, and they all went silent. They all went silent, right? and we and they want they want people to vote for him. We will never forget. We will never forget. In my in my in my gut gut of guts, in my opinion, Seth Rich was the leak. Right? He's the guy who did it, and and Julian Assange is the only probably the only person around that can validate that, that can at least talk about the conversations he's had with, he had with Rich before, before the dump. But uh, it is history because the WikiLeaks did have an influence on that election. People don't want to, you know, necessarily believe that. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, the, the, you know, Seth Rich didn't have any, have any influence. The, 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 DC, the, the <laughs> WikiLeaks emails didn't have an influence on the uh, election. Of course they did. Everybody was queuing off of Julian Assange's information. All of the our mainstream media, New York Times, Washington Post, all the fake news, CNN, were all talking about WikiLeaks. The president-elect was talking about WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. Now he doesn't love him anymore. Now he wants to see Julian Assange go to jail. So, uh, Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>